Hey guys, it's Bye, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to be doing a Q&A, which is really cool because I really like Q&As. And it was really requested by you guys, and I thought we haven't done one, I haven't done one in a while. The last one I did was like in August, so that's a little while back. So yeah, I'm doing one today. I asked you guys for your questions on Instagram, which is where I ask you guys for all my questions for Q&As. I don't really do it on YouTube anymore. So if you want to be a part of Q&As or live streams, because I do those quite often, or you just want to see my posts on Instagram, then you guys should go follow me. It's the Doll in the Dream Catcher, but, and the link is in the description. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Midnight Dollies asked, dream custom? Okay, so I every time I get asked this, it, my answer always changes. I don't know why, really. Um, it used to be like um, a Mary Grace with uh, Caroline eyes and blue eyes, but now I'm not really sure. I think it would probably be a Leah with Mary Grace eyes and just her normal wig, or um, a dark wig, like Alaska's wig, because I feel like that'd be really, really pretty. Favorite makeup product slash brand? Okay, I just started getting into makeup, so I don't really have too many products or brands, but um, I really like the Swamp Queen palette by uh, Tarte. It's really nice, but it, it's not sold anymore. So I just recommend Tarte because their brands are, their products are great, and they're cruelty free, so if you're into that, then that's good. Also, Elf is really nice and they're really cheap. Sugar Sweet AG asked, favorite girl of the year? Um, my favorite girl of the year is, I really like Leah, but I also really like Hanani. AG Photographer 15 asked, if you can make girl of the year 2018, what would she look like? Um, I don't really know. I feel like she would be a medium skin Mary Grace mold, because I really want that, and I want more Mary Grace molds, so, yeah. Um, and she would probably have like amber eyes and I don't know what hair. If everything in AG store was free for 30 seconds, what would you grab? Okay, I would grab all of um, all of the dolls that I want. Like I would probably just go to the Truly Me section and just grab all of the ones I could carry. And I would probably grab a few girl of the years, like one to keep, one to customize, and then like one to like sell later on. And I would take a Kaya, I would probably take, I would take a 58 definitely, I would take 61, I would just grab all the dolls I could to be honest. Thoughts on Girl of the Year 2017. Okay, so I think she's pretty, I think she's gorgeous, um, but I feel like there wasn't that much effort put into her. Her collection's really small, lots of the stuff is reused from Isabel. Um, it's another dancer, which we've had like three, and I feel like we could do something with STEM, I really want a STEM doll. If you don't know what STEM is, it's like science, technology, engineering, and math. So I think that'd be really cool to have in a doll, which AG hasn't really had yet. And I think she's really pretty, and I like, I feel like some of the outfits in her collection could be cute if I like mix and match them, but I might get her and I might not. But overall, I think the doll's cute, but there's a lack of effort. Thoughts on the recent Tenny leaks? Okay, so if you don't know who Tenny is, she's this contemporary character. It's like a girl of the year, but they're around longer. It's it's strange, but it's a new thing that they're doing. And she, there were leaks around her. I'll insert some photos here. And I, okay, so the first leak of her in her box, I it didn't even look like an American Girl doll. It looks like in our generation. It was just weird, and I didn't think her outfit looked nice at all. And then there was one of her, a clear quality photo of her head, and I thought, who did those freckles? They look like really bad fake freckles. And her eyebrows, I could see what AG was going for, but it didn't work. Um, yeah, and then when we got the stock photo of her, I thought, okay, she's better, but I probably won't get her. Um, some of her like clothing pieces in her collection seem pretty cute. I probably will get some of those just because I can mix and match them, and they're pretty modern for AG. But yeah, overall, I don't think I'll get the doll, but she is pretty, I guess. She just looks like a revamped 24, um, but yeah, her collection's okay. AG.Melody asked, do you prefer doll or people photography? Um, I don't really know. I don't really take photos of people that often. Um, I kind of like dolls photography because I'm better at it and I don't really have to like ask them to pose it anyway. But yeah, 
Probably dolls, but I don't take photos of people that often, so I don't really know. <laughs> Bubbles asked, what do you think of Logan slash Tenny? Okay, so Logan is the rumored boy, well actually he's not a rumor. He's a boy doll that is supposed to come out with Tenny, and I think he's supposed to be a drummer. Um, I think it's really cool that they're coming out with a boy doll. I think um, it's really good of AG to do that, so boys who like dolls can have like a doll that's like them. Um, I'm interested to see what mold he's gonna have. I've heard he has like something like a Kaya mold, which makes no sense because a Kaya mold is like specific to her culture. But I hope he looks good and yeah. What inspired you to join AGTube and AGIG? Um, I really, I, to join AGTube, um, my friend Anne, Age Obsession, she had a YouTube channel and she's like, hey, do you like American Girl Dolls? And I was like, yeah, I guess. I kind of was out of them at that point. I didn't really like them. And she really got me into it. I was so excited and it was so much fun. Um, she really inspired me to join AGTube. What inspired me to join AGIG, when I first joined AGIG, it was kind of just like a behind the scenes account for my YouTube. So I just noticed people had Instagrams. But really, what really inspired me to take photos was just like everybody else's photos. I can't really remember a specific account. Mackenzie AG asked, favorite thing about AGIG? Um, I really like the sense of community we have. I feel like I'm friends with like almost everyone. Um, and it's just really nice. Yeah, I just really like the sense of community and I've made a lot of great friends this way. Okay, so those are all the questions I have for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Okay, I know I just ended the video, but I just wanted to give you guys a little like, I don't know, I just want to tell you guys something. I'm selling my McKenna doll. Um, for $150 um, and yeah she's in pretty good condition she has a like she her hair is like good condition but it's a little bit frizzy but that can be fixed she has a few scratches on her but again those can be taken off with um, acne cream I think there's there's a ton of YouTube videos on those and if you buy her you'll be getting a photo that I took. I took it a long time ago in the summer, but I still really like the photos, and I think they're really pretty. Um, so yeah, I'm selling her for $150 US dollars, and if you're interested, please DM me on my Instagram. There's so much history in these streets, and mama's good eats, and wonder I'll repeat, so